Barry is in Greenville, South Carolina. Hi, Barry. What's up? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I, over the years, have uh, tried to save my pennies, and um, we got to the big one. And now I am about to, well, no, I am retired. I've been retired 20 years. I'm turning 80. Oh, no one a penny. Own a very nice house. We're doing fine, but I have no idea how to produce income with this cash. I have nothing in the market. Okay. And you have oh, the big one. You're talking about you're, you've got a million dollars in cash? Yes. Okay. Wow. Way to go. So, Barry, how much money did you inherit? Are you a millionaire because of inheritance or because of your hard work? No, no. I, I'm uh, My inheritance is zilch. It's <laughs> hard work. And uh, just good common sense, and I got a hold of you guys and uh, Ron Blue years ago and kind of followed them and so on and so forth. My kids are all gone and gone. They've all done exceedingly well. I don't need to leave a penny to them. We, we, and then since my last kid left, we have always paid 20% uh, gross, gross to, uh, giving. Uh, to giving. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Big heroes. But anyhow, so here we are. We are basically, all the money we have coming in right now, I sold to an apartment I had, blah, blah, blah. And um, we have Social Security, and I do a little gig on the side during a little comp money that it uh, more than covers our um, monthly expenses. However, I want to be 100% retired. Yeah, good for you. Well done, sir. Impressive. Very well done. And uh, is there a reason you don't have any of it in the market? Well, you know, I I was in the market, and I get it went higher, and I got frightened and pulled out, and then I well, I'll get back in. That kept going higher and higher and higher and higher. Anyhow, big mistake, and now it's up at you know thirty five thousand. It's ridiculous. Can't believe it's this high, but I got out way too soon. What were you and invested I've not in? Back in for here. Yeah. Oh well, I kind of called it a, a fund by my last name. I was in some real good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, good. I had some really good. I, I I wish I had never sold it. I would have a heck of a lot more. But right now, this is where I am. Okay. All right. Good. Well, it, what would I do if I woke up in your shoes? Is how I answer questions here. Um, I I think I'm going to get really comfortable with generosity piece, which you already are. I'm going to get really comfortable with leaving money to kids, even if they don't need it, and or leaving it to ministries or charities that um that that yeah, yeah listen i i know what to do with it i have no problem there it's okay how do i generate some income so that i'm not living just on social security oh, and okay. i can't do this little gig that i'm doing I got you. what do i do with this money i personally would put it in the market i'd go i go i would amount, sit oh. i would sit down with a smart investor pro and pick out some mutual funds and let those mutual funds create an income and i mean you, you're you're going to create you know, seventy to a hundred thousand dollars a year in income off a million dollars invested in mutual funds, and uh, even if you tear into the principal a little bit systematically in order to have the income coming in to to have uh, the lifestyle that you want, you're, you've got a you've got a figure in mind that you need coming in, uh, and you know I'd, I would invest some of this money to do that. Uh, you don't have to invest it all. You can whatever gives you a comfort level, but. Um, there's, I'm 61. I'm not getting out of the market. I'm going to ride it all the way in. Yeah. If you've got nothing that you want to spend that money on right now, I would be putting as much of it as you could into the market. And working with a financial advisor is going to help with that fear that you have of what's going to happen. Am I putting my money into something conservative enough? They can walk you through all of your options there to make sure that you're comfortable. They want to make yeah. sure that you're educated here. I, I do think you need to maybe sit down with a smart investor pro or someone that can that you can develop a trust with, not a trust that uh, do you do everything they say automatically, but a trust that I trust their judgment. And so when they're telling me something, I can I can give it serious consideration. And so if you get freaked out and go, oh, the market's too high, and you call your guy or your gal, you sit down with them, have a meeting with them, a cup of coffee, and go, look, I'm, I'm, I'm having that thing again. I'm ready to pull it out again. And then they can talk you off the ledge because you have a trust level in their knowledge base uh, and they teach you something that gives you a reason to get off the ledge yeah. instead of just jumping off. Because your problem is you're jumping in and out all the time. And that you told us that. You told us that was your problem. So I, that's what I would do with it. That or go buy some real estate with it. You. you just got out of the apartments. Something that creates an income. 
You do something that goes and creates an income. Sounds like you like real estate like I do, so that might be an okay thing. Very well done, sir. Congratulations.